Hey gang, show by Plant. Today I show you how to make salted caramel cream liqueur. So let's go. So if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might have noticed it's been a long time since I've made any liqueurs. Uh, several reasons. A, just my brain's in a different place. B, also too, I've been... Uh, Again, if you're a regular viewer, you know that I've been trying to cut back on the sugar a little bit. So we haven't done anything like this for a while, but I've recently been inspired to get back into it. Just seen some things lately, got the old uh, brain working, and uh, particularly on this video, I'm motivated. Uh, if, again, if you're a regular viewer of uh, the channel, you might know my friend Jimmy. He's been in a few of the live streams, a couple of the road trips we've taken. And Jimmy just loves, loves, loves salted caramel. So much so that he carries a jar around with him just in case. Because you don't know when you need it. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to make Jimmy some. Let's, let's come up with something. Um, and I came up with this recipe. So uh, we'll make uh, Jimmy a little uh, liqueur uh, treat. First, let's see what we need to make our salted caramel cream liqueur. Obviously, we need the salted caramel. There's not a particular brand or whatever. You can find this uh, most any grocery store. Um, this is a sea salt caramel, so I guess that's even better sauce. Uh, next, I'm going with half and half. In the past, with my cream liqueurs, I've used heavy whipping cream. I know, so that makes just a really thick... Uh, liqueur so I thought I would give half and half a try just to see you know if the viscosity you know, you know it should be a little lighter uh, body just see how it works out and uh, we're also going to use a little pure cane sugar uh, I wouldn't get too crazy with sugar obviously if you wanted to use honey or agave nectar or another sweetener you can um, I'm just going to go with straight cane sugar just again because we kind of know what we'll get out of it and last but not least the spirit we're going to use is uh, vodka I'm just using a regular Smirnoff you can use whatever brand you want uh, I guess if you wanted to you could play around with flavored uh, I know there's salted caramel vodkas out there regular caramel vodkas if you wanted to use a vanilla vodka you could what have you this is the first time I'm doing this recipe so I'm going to kind of stick with the basics and we're just going to use regular vodka uh, this should be a quick, easy recipe. Uh, we will be able to drink this very shortly, which is nice, you know, compared to the home brewing where you have to wait a couple of weeks to a couple of months to get something drinkable. Uh, we're going to enjoy this tonight, let, let, let me tell you. Well, with that being said, let's get started making salted caramel cream liqueur. All right, this is a pretty straightforward process. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take one and a quarter cup of our half and half we're going to put it in a little saucepan and we're just going to turn on the flame and we're going to bring this to a low simmer we're not wanting to boil uh, we're not wanting to bring this to a boil we're just wanting to heat this up enough to allow us to integrate these other ingredients uh, more easily get them blended. We don't want something that's kind of chunky or has clumps, especially we don't want anything to separate. So I found in the other cream liqueurs I make that if we heat, heat the cream, um, we get a little better result. This is going to allow uh, the sugar to dissolve more and again whatever sauce. I've, I've done this with Nutello, peanut butter. So as far as thickness, this is uh, similar to those and we're still able to get something that blends uh, quite easily. Uh, real quick, we're not going to add vodka at this point. Um, those of you that have seen my liqueur videos know that uh, alcohol is a lower boiling point, so we don't want to do this while we're heating it. We will come back later to add the vodka. So first, we're going to add in one half a cup of sugar. Now some of you out there may go, well, wait a minute, salted caramel is already kind of sweet, why do I need more sugar? Uh, this is for, you know, a couple things. Obviously, the American palate's naturally sweet. 
Um, also, too, um, sugar uh, in itself is kind of a preservative and it just affects the water activity. And again, most liqueurs in general will just have some sugar to it, so stylistically it works with the liqueur category. We're going to get this thoroughly stirred in. Then we're going to add our caramel sauce. We're going to do roughly three quarters of a cup, six ounces or so. This jar is a 16 ounce jar, so not quite half the jar. Um, we want to be close to exact, but again, this is the first time we're trying the recipe, so don't, uh, don't torture yourself. Oh man, this stuff is thick, but it looks and smells good. That's about enough of that. Now, obviously if you want to play around, you can do this with regular caramel. I guess if you want it to, you can use regular caramel sauce and then just add the sea salt yourself if you want to do it like that. Um, since they've already made the salted caramel for me, I am kind of like, uh, I'll, I'll let them do the work. All right, I can see it's already uh, starting to change the color. We're getting more of a beige color in here. This is going to take a little bit. Um, again, if you've seen any of my other cream liqueur videos, it takes a little while to get this all integrated. Again, don't, also, too, don't have your heat too high. You don't want this to scorch on the bottom. So give me a few minutes. We're going to keep this stirring. And when I get everything fully integrated in, we're going to turn off the heat, let this cool down, and then we'll come back to add the vodka and give her a try. All right, so we've let our caramel cream sauce kind of cool down. Now we're just going to add the vodka, uh, two cups of vodka, add it to roughly about two cups of our finished product. That's going to get us around 40 proof. So this is not a high ABV liqueur if you want it to bump it up, you can use Everclear instead of vodka. I'm just wanting to produce something more kind of shot friendly, more kind of secondary spirit than an 80 proof spirit. So, let me add our vodka in real quick. All right. Let's give her a good shake. Uh, nothing separated so far. Uh, looks pretty good. Now is the moment of truth. Let's give her a try. Oh, right. oh man that is not bad not bad at all don't get necessarily much of the salt the caramel just a good caramel cream liqueur um maybe my taste buds your friend will give her This would really go great in a blender with some vanilla ice cream. <laughs> that would really be tough to beat. A little whipped cream on top. Uh, man, I, I think we've got another uh, winner right here. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just video ideas, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.